it's time for a little special <coughs> high voltage video today and in front of the camera we got the PT potential transformer here on the right side and in the middle we got an old 1947 insulator I'm going to connect nearly 20 kilovolts on that and yes do not try this at home I'm going to spray water on it and you will see how the insulator can handle it So it's now turned off the light and I'm going to uh, turn on my variac and slowly crank up the voltage till the primary voltage or current, primary current reaches, reaches 4.5 amps and the voltage must now is now on the secondary nearly 21 kilovolts. So to spray some water on it, see what happens. Yes, there's some corona. Let's spray some more. That will actually make some marks in the insulator. So yes. Now the most of the water is uh, evaporated and it stops arcing. So let's try this on different types of insulators. Next will be a disc insulator or suspension insulator. Yes, I've got a different setup now. SPT, one insulator there. That's actually a surge arrester. That's not a surge arrester. There's some insulators. The wire comes here and to that and to that one. And after that, then that goes to that rod. That rod goes into the suspension insulator and the underside of it, I'm just using one of them but they are rated 12 kV each no, that's 6.5 kV two of them are 12 kV so a bit of over voltage and that's the wire going into the insulator and there was a little inverter transformer. I put my phone on it, like so. And I'll turn off the light and spray some water on it. So I'll turn on the variac, crank up the voltage, see if anything happens. Yes, that's a bit of over voltage. And let's put this 4 amp in the primary. I'll put, spray some water on it. Not so much happens. Spray some more. Yes, nothing happens. And on the front the other side. Nothing, I still don't see anything. And now something happens. And this directly evaporated the water. So yes, this type of insulators are pretty good. Turn the voltage a little bit more. And yes, still, no corona. So I'm going to turn off the variac. And I want to spray some water from underneath it. That will never happen in real life.
So I set some water from underneath, so around the back. Now I see something. And so smoke coming, probably water, steam. I hope that doesn't crack. So yes, that was some some of that suspension insulator but not so much actually they're pretty good they insulate from rain so next will be one of those one of these ones I want to test them this x-shaped so here we got the same setup again this time we got this little egg shaped thing and I'm going to do the same thing, spray some water on it and see if we get anything I don't know if you can see it but there's some corona inside the hole Now it rains very much, I was always spraying a lot on it. Can I cut the water a little bit more? That was six times from the mains. But now it gets a little bit too much in there. So I'm going to turn it off and try another insulator. I think it's overheated inside it actually. Yeah, it's a bit warm. Next, one of these ones. Yes. I can't test this big one because this one is actually rated for 20 kV. So I would not get any arcs from this if I just sprayed a lot of water on it. And I actually need a wire going into that. And it's pretty hard to actually spray water in it. So these are actually made for these kind of voltages. But I'm going to try a smaller one. This can show you. Can, this is actually a little bit overdriven because these small ones are just made for less than 1 kV actually. But I'm going to put 20 kV in it anyway and spray some water on it. It may be a bit fun. And this long thing here is actually a fuse, it just holds it up. And there's the one face there, another face up there. So now loud light is turned off. I'm going to crank the voltage up until the primary current is 4.5 amps, that's a little bit more and I'll spray some water on it a little bit more yes, there, see what happens so we have a little bit less than that's 3 amps on from the mains more water So that was a bit too much again. Uh, that's 2.5 from the mains. A 
with more water. Yes, up with the voltage. Yes, it's no marks on it. <laughs> and now, the last thing to test. A fuse. So now it's, I want to test the fuse. And it's pretty the same thing as before. But this time I have this, this wire connected up here. And that one connected underneath. So this will simulate if a fuse blows for uh, example a transformer fault or a surge resistor fault or something and the fuse must handle uh, mains voltage earth here and 20 kV up here so spray some water on it as before see what happens Crack up the voltage to just reaches 4 amps on the mains and we'll spray some water on it. And I'll try to actually get the water on the fuse and not on the table. So yes, you can see some small arcing. Just so some arcing from the top. Pulls 5 amps from the mains at the moment. So yes, they handle it pretty well. So that could actually handle it pretty well. I got to blend some salt in the water and test again. So now I got some salt water to throw on it. So crank up the voltage. You don't want that to happen on a power pole. <laughs> That conducts very well. Some more in it. Ah, it doesn't work anymore. That was annoying. Come on, come out. Bloody shit. I hope it works now. I actually accidentally sprayed a little beam on my computer. Yeah, so don't want that to happen on power pole. <laughs> that was some high voltage. Insulator testing. And one fuse. There's lots of water drops on the table. Uh, turn off the variac. And this is hot. Thanks for watching.